Now in this video, we will take the problem of center of gravity based on composite solid where we are having the combination of cylinder and hemisphere. So here we have a question. Find the CG of composite solid as shown in figure below. The diagram is given. As we can see in this diagram, here we are having a cylinder whose base is 200 mm. Height is 400 mm. Over that cylinder, a hemisphere is kept whose diameter is 200 mm. Means the diameter of base of the cylinder and the diameter of the hemisphere they are same. So here is a problem on composite solid. They are saying to find CG. If CG is the question, it means we have to calculate what is X bar and what is Y bar. So these are the questions for us. Now as we see in the diagram, this composite solid is symmetric about the vertical axis and call it as y axis. Since this composite solid is symmetric about y axis, then CG will lie on this axis and the distance x bar can be calculated directly. This is x bar. Next, here we would be dividing this figure into two solids. Cylinder will become the first solid. Hemisphere will be second solid. I will start the solution for this. Since the given composite solid is symmetric about y axis therefore cg lies on y axis hence x bar it's equal to x bar can be taken as directly half of 200 so it is 200 divided by 2 therefore x bar is 100 centimeter here the distances they are given in terms of mm so this is 100 mm not centimeter our first answer Next, we will go on for the calculation of y bar and for that we require volume and distance y. So first I will calculate the volume for the first solid which is the cylinder. So I will say that since v1 is equal to pi r square h. So therefore v1 will be equal to pi radius is 100 square into height of the cylinder is 400 given so therefore i will get the value of v1 as it is 4 into 10 raised to 6 I will keep pi as it is. I am just multiplying this. So it is 4 into 10 raised to 6 pi. Unit will be mm cube. After getting v1, now I will calculate y1. So therefore, y1 it will be equal to y1 is half of the height. Height is 400 of the cylinder. And we know Cg of the cylinder will be exactly at half of the height so y1 will be h by 2 so y1 is 200 mm now once we know v1 and y1 i can e even calculate v2 and y2 so i'll say that also v2 is equal to the second figure which we have it is a hemisphere 
of diameter 200 so radius becomes 100 so I'll calculate the volume V2 will be 2 by 3 pi r cube so that is equal to 2 upon 3 pi radius is 100 cube so therefore V2 value is 66.67 into 10 raised to 3 pi mm cube next after getting v2 i will calculate y2 how to get y2 this hemisphere is starting after the cylinder height of the cylinder is 400 so it is 400 plus now for a hemisphere we know that i'll draw the diagram here separately so that we can understand we have a hemisphere in that cg will be now this will be the cg of hemisphere and it is located at 3r by 8 distance from the diameter but we want the, the distance from this location so it will be this distance will be capital R that is the radius of the hemisphere from that I will subtract 3R by 8 to get this distance so here I will mention that after 400 mm that is after the cylinder here I can write this as R minus 3R by 8 very important term here because I want this distance from CG to the bottom so therefore I will put the values here the radius of the hemisphere is 100 so from this I will get the value of Y2 and that is it comes out to be 462.5 even this is y2 answer now after we have calculated v1 v2 y1 and y2 we can go for the calculation of y bar since y bar that is the location of cg with respect to x axis it will be v1 y1 plus v2 y2 upon v1 plus v2 therefore y bar is equal to v1 the value was 4 into 10 raised to 6 pi into y1 y1 was 200 plus v2 into y2 v2 value we have already calculated so it is v1 into y1 plus v2 into y2 v2 value is 66.67 into 10 raised to 3 pi y2 is 462.5 divided by v1 plus v2 so we can take pi common and cancel it out so finally y bar value if I calculate the terms here numerator divided by denominator my answer is 237.5 mm this is a second answer now once we have calculated x bar and y bar we can show them on the composite solid so here I draw the diagram again it is a composite solid of hemisphere and cylinder so here the composite solid 
its y axis is at distance x bar which is 100 mm we have already calculated and y bar is 237.5 height of the cylinder is 400 so just above the half of that wherever the y axis and x axis they intersect that will give us the cg so here we are having cg of the composite solid and once we have located the cg we can say that the problem is over